Nice to see you busy today, Brett, with uh, a full complement of players. Yeah, we've uh, we finalised the whole squad now, um, which, which makes it 27. Um, and uh, obviously, we've announced in the uh, on the website um, signs of Tom Luke and Adam Kettle, uh, two players who both former Doncaster Knight players and two players that I know well, um, and two players who I think are both uh, very very underrated. Um, I'm more than happy that they're back here and they, again, they're, they're two players who fit into what we're looking for. Tom Luke, I've got to say, uh, not the best sense of humour, but possibly one of my favourite players at championship level. Uh, Tom's, Tom's heart and soul will, will, will come with him, you know, he's, uh, he'll put everything into it and he'll do the, the best thing possible for the Knights. And, um, it's been a long process with Tom in trying to catch his sign in and you know, he had one or two, uh, not issues, but one or two other things that were important to him and you know, we've, we've managed to get the sign in, but um, you know, he, I, I've coached him before and I coached him the first year he was at the Pirates where he played incredibly well um, and then he had a, a, an injury, but he, you know, when, when it's come to play off, he's play off rugby, he's played quite a bit as well and you know, I'd expect him to do pretty much a similar thing here. He's uh, he's going to a phase of his of his life now where he's he's also looking beyond uh, uh, beyond playing, and and you know we want to give him the opportunities as well to uh, at some point you know further his career with, with some coaching and, and maybe do a bit of mentoring for him. So uh, that's what we're looking for. And as well as sort of like off the field stuff on the pitch with Tom Luke, for me one of the best balances of, of, of strength. And creativity that you can get in a, a back. Oh, Tom's got a lot. Tom, Tom's got an awful lot uh, in his game. He can do an awful lot of good things. He passes well, kicks well, runs strong. He's a good communicator. So he's got all the tools. You know, he, it's it's for us now to get the best out of him and for him to get the best out of himself. And it, and there's no pressure with that. It's just you know, I want him to enjoy his rugby. That's the most important thing for all the players here this season is that they enjoy their rugby as well. Um, you know, and he, he he's a very good player, and I, I think having a, had a previous relationship with him, you know, uh, and it was it's no secret that he, he played particularly well in the first year when we were done at Cornwall. That you know, I'd like to think that he do the sim similar thing here, but you know, he's he's going to bed in perfectly to what we want, and uh, you know, it's, I think it's a great sign. I don't think anybody will doubt the the credentials of Adam Kettle, Mr. Commitment on the pitch. Yeah, well, you know, Adam or, or Ket, or whatever people want to call him, it's, uh, you know, I think he's a very, very good player. Um, and he's a player who can play well when a side is going backwards, and he can also play well when a side is going forwards. And the, the performances he put in here when, you know, when first year where, you know, I thought he was nothing short but an outstanding. Um, he does a lot of those things that, a lot of the hard work, a lot of the, the unpopular jobs, he, he, he gets that and he, he makes it his own really, doesn't he? Yeah, he's, you know, I think it would be fair to say that I think in mean, your last year you'd have even seen more out of him the way we, you know, we, we kind of changed the way we were playing, but that's not to say we're going to play that way all the time. We, we, you know, we want to play rugby, but... Well, he's also great going forwards, that's the... Yeah, he's good going forward, but he's a good defense, good defender as well and uh, he's a good good communicator and he gets on really well with the, with the players here. and. I think um, having spoke to a few of the players uh, prior to prior to it being announced that we'd signed him, you know, everyone was exactly the same, and they all felt it was a great signing, and, and it is a good signing because he's a very very good player. Well, it just shows that the talk shows that about balance all season. Uh, we spoke about um, the combination of Tom Luke and PJ Gidlow, the combination of Adam Kettle and Chris Planchin. You just you just can't wait to see them play together on the pitch and, and how it's going to pan out. Yeah, it, is, it gives us lots of options and, and that's the most important thing, it, it gives us a bit of flexibility and when you're carrying that a squad of, which is what we've got of 27, you know, you need to have that flexibility as well but, um, you know, as regards to, to Tom, Tom can, can play 10, 12, 13, wing, full back, 7. Yeah, you know, back he, row he, as he, we he, see. He, and it's not the fact that it, uh, the important thing with Tom is 
is if you ask him to play prop, he'd give it his best effort. And that's all you yeah, want from 100%. the players next season is to, for them to give their best effort. And as long as they do that, you know, we've got no complaints. So, like, wherever we decide uh, with Tom plays, he's going to give it everything everything possible. And, you know, he's going to be a focal point of what we're looking for because he gives us a lot of balance. And the same goes, goes for Kets. He's, he'll give us some great balance. He can play in numerous positions and he plays them all pretty well. I know we're a week away from pre-season starting, but I noticed a few faces about today. Yeah, uh, Kendo and uh, Devs came in, and we've we've had a big planning morning um, for uh, the first part of pre-season. Uh, what we're what we're trying to address and discuss some of the players um, and you know, some some groups that we want to try to create as well within the club. Start start the business of coaching. Yeah, and then and then we'll get into the into the rugby side of it then, but. Um, you know, again, I reiterate the point that I made. We got so good to the players that it's going to be hard work. Um, there's no doubt about it that if we if we want to play a certain way, then it's going to be incredibly hard work. But uh, I, th I think we've got the uh, I think we've got the place to be able to do that. Just just one point actually, and I'd like to thank Chris Alcock as well for uh, you know he's been very instrumental in the signing of Cats, um, and obviously Chris is a sponsor with Weldricks, and uh, it's uh, it's he's. His work is, is fantastic off the scene and I'd like to thank him for, for all he's done as well. We have an announced pre-season friendly which is Coventry away. I uh, just wondered if you've got any more leads or ideas on who else you might play in pre-season yet. We may well have a, another pre-season friendly. Unfortunately we'll be away from home again and this is a, this is a problem we're having at the moment. We, we, we're struggling for a, uh, a friendly at home. So really this goes out to a lot of people if there's a a side that want a, want a friendly um, at Castle Park. At Castle Park, you know, we, we this is an opportunity where you know if you can get into contact with us, we'd be more than happy to speak to you because uh, yeah, we. Obviously, look, for me, it'd be, be nice to see a, a Thornensians Doncaster game. Uh, yeah, I think um, yeah, that might be a bit <laughs> of a struggle. <laughs> this is probably the best thing to say, but uh, yeah, obviously we're looking looking for a pre-season friendly. If uh, we can go out at home, that'd be great because. Uh, yeah, you know, it, it seems to me that some sides don't, don't want to travel, but you know you can understand it. But we we just have to get three pre-season games in this year, um, which is a decision that we've made based upon the fact that we've got half a new squad again. So so we're gonna try to bed them in as quickly as possible and and get something out of the three pre-season games as well.